Welcome, my name is Jorge Pereira. I am a Workforce Transformation Solution Principal for Dell Technology Services. In this video, I will provide an explanation of the difference between Windows Autopilot, Microsoft Intune. Windows Autopilot is a collection of technologies used to set up and pre-configure new devices, getting them ready for productive use. You can also use Windows Autopilot to reserve, repurpose, and recover devices. Windows Autopilot enables you to join devices to Azure Active Directory or Active Directory via hybrid Azure AD join. You can also restrict the administration account creation, create and auto assign devices to configuration groups based on device profile for auto deployment kiosks comes to mind, and enable the out-of-box experience content to be customized for the organization. Auto-enrolling devices into NDM is the last component of Windows Autopilot. It is typically used with Microsoft Intune, but it is not exclusively dedicated to it. Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based mobile device management, MDM, and mobile application management, MAM, provider that allows you to manage your applications and devices, whether they are for Android, iOS, macOS, and, of course, Windows 10 devices. It provides managing of the devices, all the policies associated with it, manage of applications and application updates, compliance and conditional access, as well as provides lots of reporting associated with inventory and monitoring of your environment. Microsoft Intune can be purchased as a standalone license or comes with Microsoft 365 suite of products. Let's talk now about the steps to modern provisioning. One, Device registration allows the device to be registered to a particular organization prior to leaving the OEM, the factory. This is what is called Windows Autopilot. It is just the registration of the device that we send the unique ID for that device to Microsoft servers. Every time you open a new device and connect it to the internet through the out-of-box experience, Windows 10 automatically calls, calls home. That call home goes to Microsoft servers, checks whether that device has been registered to a particular organization. If it finds it, then it comes back and interrupts the out-of-box experience and presents the user with the Windows Autopilot registration, which is the username and password prompt, giving the organization also the ability to customize that initial uh, screen. If the device does not exist in Windows, in Microsoft servers, then it continues the out-of-box experience normal. The second element is device enrollment. Provided the user enters the correct or a approved username and password to that organization, then the second step takes place, and that is it enrolls the user and the device into the MDM system, Microsoft Intune, uh, which is the management tool that has all the profile information for that user experience. The profile contains policies, settings, applications, and anything that is needed to be able to modify that device, transform that device into a corporate device. Or if it is a BYOD, may have a BYOD type profile in which sends the profile associated with it. Once the information is unknown 
with the Intune enrollment or the MDM enrollment. The third step is device provisioning, which is pushing those policies, pushing those settings, and pushing those applications that have been defined for that user or device inside the profile to the device. It's the execution of the MDM instructions based on the user profile and settings. Please note that this happens at the end user location, wherever he may be, at home, at an internet cafe, anywhere. So bandwidth speed is what is going to tell how long that process is. If it is very high bandwidth speed, then you it'll may take five to 15 minutes to configure that device. If it is very low speed, then it'll take uh, much more time. Keep in mind that it's not only the policies, the settings and the applications that are traveling. Policies and settings are very quick, but the applications may take a while. But it also, you will have the uh, OneDrive transferring of the information as well. So keep in mind those elements as you're moving forward. If the organization has many users or a subset of users and that uh, are, are in this situation, low bandwidth, then there is an alternative to that called Windows Autopilot Wild Clothes Provisioning, which is the ability to execute those profiles that I just talked about, the second touch facility. So the machine, the device, will be fully pre-configured prior to being shipped to the end user. Dell has multiple options as it relates to Windows Autopilot offerings. Please keep in mind that the registration of the devices, Windows Autopilot, is a no-cost service to our customers. The standard service comes with the Windows 10 OEM image. That is the image that contains all the value-added software associated with the OEM image. It includes trialware uh, and uh, all the uh, tools and uh, components that come with the OEM image. Some customers prefer to have a clean Windows 10 image. For those customers, we have an offering called Dell Generic Image. The Dell generic image is just the Windows 10 ISO with the device drivers for that device model. And as I mentioned in an earlier slide, there is also the Windows White Glove provisioning service, which is the generic image, the Windows Autopilot registration, the second touch services, which will connect to your tenant and then be able to download the applications, profiles, and settings based on that group profile, special profile that you're going to set up for those users. The Dell generic image and the Windows Autopilot Wyclov provisioning carry an additional cost. We also offer a Dell Quick Start service for Microsoft Intune. In this short two-week engagement, Dell helps our customers configure their environment and prepare for uh, provisioning of devices. We configure the Intune tenant, we enable the applications and device profiles as well as uh, end user profiles or user profiles, uh, we review your Azure Active Directory configuration, and then we transfer all the knowledge that you will need in order to be able to deploy devices uh, using Windows Autopilot and Intune. We also have custom engagements available if you need to add more scope to those. There is tons of resources that we can provide. Dell Technologies InFocus blog provides lots of information. I encourage you to go there. 
as well as the Modern EUC blog, moderneuc.com. I publish plenty of uh, tips, tricks, and overviews on uh, Windows uh, Autopilot, uh, Microsoft Intune, as well as many other modern device management uh, tips, tricks, and tools. Thank you for listening to this short video. And if you have any questions, please contact your account team or contact me directly. Thank you.